Select the missing reagent required to accomplish the following transformation. So we want to take a look and see what we're starting with and what we're forming. So we are starting with an acid chloride, which is the most reactive type of carbonyl compound that we've seen. And we are finishing with a ketone. And so hopefully we can see that we have formed a new carbon-carbon bond between the carbonyl and this carbon here because we didn't have the rest of the carbonyl chain. So we need to add one, two, three carbon atoms. Um, so what we need to use here to do this is we need an organometallic reagent. And that's what we need to form that carbon-carbon bond because we need, we have a carbon that's electrophilic. The reason why we know we need an organometallic reagent is we need a carbon atom that is nucleophilic, right? Because we need a nucleophilic, nucleophilic carbon. All right, um, so that means we are definitely not looking at C because that's just an alkyl bromide, so we can cross that out. And we see that we need three carbon atoms. We do have three carbon atoms in this cuprate. This alkyl lithium has four, so that's too many carbon atoms. And then this Grignard here has three. Um, so in deciding between the cuprate and the Grignard, here's what we wanna recognize, we wanna pick the less reactive organometallic reagent. Um, so the cuprate is less reactive. And so that's gonna be key because this will allow it to react with the more reactive carboxylic acid, but or sorry, acid chloride, but it will not react with the ketone. So this will react with the acid chloride but not the ketone, right? So a Grignard reagent would react twice with the acid chloride, um, and it would actually end up giving you the tertiary alcohol. So you would add another one of these propyl chains, and then it would be the alcohol react two times to give the tertiary alcohol. Um, and I can quickly draw what that tertiary alcohol would look like. It would look like this if we had the Grignard reagent. So there's the OH, and you would have added two of these propyl chains if you use the Grignard. So even if you only use one equivalent, um, you're probably still going to get a mixture of that. It's really, really hard to control stoichiometrically. Um, so that would not be the reagent that you want to use. You want that less reactive um, organocuprate.